Well, didn't expect the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> All right. Um, the stress test doesn't look that good to us. There's weakness in two of your valves. And we uh, discussed it, and we think it would be prudent for you to terminate the pregnancy. No. Suzanne. No. Look, I didn't just fall off the truck, Phil. I'm, an, I'm a doctor, too. I know what the risks are. I also know that if the three of you help me, I can have this baby. Am I wrong? <laughs> Am I wrong? I don't know. Is that your medical opinion? All right, tough guy. We can uh, give it some time, see what happens. Thank you. Look, if they don't think you should have the baby, no, Suzanne... No, I want the baby, Matt. You can adopt. No, I want to have our baby. Honey, I know that this is going to work out, okay? So three hotshot doctors are wrong and you're right. Look, they agreed to help, so... And you gave them a choice? Well, it's my body. Oh, so that makes suicide all right. Suicide? Because you kill yourself for this baby, I call it suicide. Oh, God, you... What? You, you have no idea what you're talking about. What, what, the house painter can't have an opinion? No, not about medicine. It's not no. about medicine. It's about you risking your life. And I can have an opinion about that. I can have an opinion about the, the one woman in this world that I love, that I will okay, not live okay, without. Okay, 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 okay. It's okay to worry, honey. It's okay to worry. You got, you got to trust me on this, Matt. All right, I'm not going to put myself in danger. I promise you that. I love you too much. I'm not going to leave you. Just please don't give up. You gotta love me, well you gotta hug me, before it rains, baby before it rains, you gotta love me, well you gotta hug me, before it rains, yeah baby before I can stay. All weekend? I think Walter Cronkite will muddle through. <laughs> you know, I, I know that it's hard for you. I mean, I could... I could come up to the vineyard one weekend. I'd take the ferry over and... You could pick me up and drive me around. Or no, we, uh, we could rent bikes and then ride around, you know, if, if it's nice out. And then you could show me all the local spots. <laughs> and then you could show me your house. And then you could show me your bed. No. What? No. No what? Nothing. Let's just go back to the table. You don't want me in your bed, is that it? No, please. Don't what? Don't say anything that might disturb you. Well, I'm sorry, but I just don't know what will disturb you because you won't tell me. I have to go. Oh, no, you don't. Cabby! Wait one minute! Cabby! I don't want to talk about you. Oh, too bad! Hey! I have had it, buddy. I am so sick of tiptoeing around here. You have problems? Well, boo-hoo. I have problems, too. Yes, I've heard. Yeah, because when two people sleep together, they're supposed to share more than just sex. I am what I am. Take it That is it. not how it works. Then it doesn't work. Stop! Cabby! You will deal with it. Cabby! You will deal with it. Cabby! You coward. You coward. You're just coward. 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 I'm not going anywhere. Oh, that's beautiful. Now watch. Oh. Ooh. 
The little Herman. <laughs> His name is Nicholas. I'm sorry. Okay. Once there was an ordinary man who lived on a special island full of celebrities. One night he went to Sam's clams, and his life changed for the good. Then it changed again for the bad. Then it changed again. He sold a book of short stories after many years of trying and failing. It should have brought him more pleasure than it did. But what brought him pleasure was the smart and beautiful editor they assigned him. So he agreed to a lunch date, even though the restaurant wasn't as good as Sam's Clams. And she talked. And he listened. And before the creme brulee came, he knew that she changed his life again. I said, that's the best I can do. That's good enough. Hey, sweetheart. There's nothing to eat. Would you come down and fix me something? Suzanne? Suzanne? Yeah. 